Info. My name is Komotong Kusi. I'm from West Rand. Uh, guys, there's a question I'm struggling with. Please help me. Bye. Okay, I love this kind of question because it combines your similarity and proportion with your Euclidean. It's got a whole bunch of circle stuff in it. So, let's take a look. It says, in the diagram, A, B, D and E lie on the circumference of the circle. Okay, we have four points on the circumference, which means cyclic quad. Immediately, cyclic quadrilateral should spring forth a lot of stuff for you guys. Secondly, it says ED produced or is produced to G. ED is produced to G such that DG is equal to 2ED. Okay, so we've got a factor of 2X here if this is X, which means that this length is twice this length. Okay. Lastly, it says that ECB, this line here, is produced to F such that GF is parallel to DCA. Okay, so we've got a lot of information here happening in this diagram. What you should initially look at after you've read your love letter is looking for the cyclic quadrilateral that we have here, looking for the equal ang angles in the same segment. So obviously A is equal to E because of that lovely bow tie shape that you look for. And B is also equal to D, same scenario, okay? Then obviously we've also got a bunch of parallel line angles. So we know that this angle EGA is equal to that angle A because alternate angles are equal with these parallel lines. Okay, so immediately you can mark off equal stuff on your diagram. But firstly it says prove with reasons that EC over EF is equal to 1 over 3. So EC is over here and EF is over there. And we're trying to prove that the ratio from that side to that side is 1 over 3. Okay, if we look in this big triangle here, we've got F, G, E. If I draw it out there, F, G, E. We've also been given that C, D. We've got C over there and D over there. They are parallel. We were also told that E, D to D, G is 1 to 2. Okay, oh, I've enabled my vertices incorrectly. This is supposed to be up here is E and this is F. So we know that ED is 1 and DG is 2. Remember the ratio is 1 to 2. Now, immediately you should see line parallel to another side of the triangle means that it divides it in proportion. So we'll have 1 here and 2 there exactly the same proportion. Same thing that we just proved in the previous question. So if we look down here, we can say that EC over EF is equal to, we've got ED over EF. Oh, let me, I've completely labeled this incorrectly. Yeah, we've got D on this side and C over there. So EC to EF is equal to ED to EG. ED to EG. And why is that? Line parallel to one side of the triangle. Okay? And we know that EG is 2ED. It was given to us. Okay? Or 2ED plus ED, okay? Because remember, we're looking at line EG. So if we look up here, we've got EG, this whole line here. And e DG was given to us as 2ED. So we've got 1ED plus 2ED, which gives us the line EG, which is the same as saying ED over 3ED. Obviously, the EDs will divide into each other which equals 1 over 3. Easy peasy, proportion question. Okay, so prove with reasons that triangle EBG, which is this triangle here, EBG, is similar to triangle ADG, which is this triangle over here. Okay, so remember we said immediately that angle A is equal to angle E, so let's write that down. When you want to lay out your similarity questions, guys, say in triangle 
ADG, which is the one triangle we're working with, and triangle EBG, which is that yellow triangle that we outlined. But remember, when you lay these out, try to label them with corresponding vertices. We know that angle A is equal to angle E. Angle A is equal to angle E. We can see that G is common, so we write G last, and therefore D is going to be equal to B. Write them corresponding to each other. So angle A is equal to angle E. Why? Angles in the same segment. Because we've got this lovely bow tie shape happening in our cyclic quad. Secondly, angle G is common. Basically what that means is that angle G falls in both triangles. It is common to both triangles. And lastly, you can say angle, it'll be ADG, is equal to angle EBG because it is the remaining angle in the triangle. Therefore, what you can conclude Triangle ADG is similar to triangle EBG, and your reason is angle, angle, angle. Okay, easy peasy. Lastly, it says prove that BG multiplied by AG is equal to 6DE squared. Okay, so when you see this kind of expression, the 6DE squared, you're going to be looking for lengths that are expressed in terms of DE. So remember, we've just proved that triangle ADG is similar to triangle EBG. Okay, so when they express it like this, they're looking for a ratio. So we're going to have BG over something that can be expressed in terms of DE is equal to the same thing, something expressed in terms of DE, over AG because if we divide both sides by AG, we're going to get divide by AG on this side. So if we look at our ratios, we've got BG here and AG there. So when you want to write out equal ratios, you need to match the arcs on either side. So this big loop here will match this loop here and this little loop here will match over there. So now you can rewrite your ratios. You can say BG, I'm going to start with this side, over EG is equal to same small loop DG over AG. Okay, and that's going to give us our two lengths that we're looking for over there. Now, let's try and express these other two lengths in terms of it was ED. So we have BG over EG, we just figured out, is 3ED, because remember, we've got 1ED here and 2ED there. So we've got 3ED along this whole line, is equal to, well, DG, we just said, is 2ED over AG. And now, if we cross multiply, we're going to get AG times BG, which is what we had on the left-hand side, it's equal to 2 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 6 and ED multiplied by ED will give us ED squared. And that is exactly what we're looking for over here.